Perth, the largest city in Western Australia and headquarters to Rio Tinto's iron ore operations. 36 kilometres away in Quinana, a massive endeavour is taking place. Here stands Rio Tinto's high smelt plant. High smelt or high intensity smelting is a technology that uses iron ore fines and non-coking coal to produce quality pig iron in a way that is more cost efficient and environmentally friendly than traditional methods. The Quinana high smelt plant was a joint venture between Rio Tinto, New Corps of USA, Mitsubishi Japan and Shogang of China in which all parties had invested considerable time and money to prove the technology. While the new technology was technically acclaimed, the plant was put into care and maintenance and eventually shut down because the operation became commercially unviable. Now, almost half of this enormous structure must be carefully dismantled and shipped 7,600 kilometers away to Shandong, China. The remainder will be demolished and the entire 46 hectare site must be remediated so it can be handed back to the Western Australia government for reuse. When a leading global mining company like Rio Tinto needs to tackle a difficult job of this magnitude, they call on the expertise of Liberty Industrial. With this high profile Rio Tinto project, Liberty Industrial must confront an especially challenging task, the first of its kind in Australia. Liberty Industrial has helped Rio and partners salvage some of their $1 billion investment by arranging for the sale and relocation of the plant. The initiative will return a multi-million dollar credit to Rio Tinto. What makes this a particularly complex undertaking is that almost half the plant and its significant components are being carefully dismantled using a variety of large mobile and crawler cranes. It becomes obvious that this is not by any means your standard demolition project. The salvaged items include the 65 metre high, 1200 ton coal drying and grinding structure, the flue gas desulphurization plant, hot metal handling equipment, including an 80 ton induction furnace, hot metal desulphurization plant, off gas scrubbing and cooling infrastructure, and a 25 megawatt power station, including a single lift of the 108 ton turbine generator skip. Deconstruction works commenced in January 2013 with the dismantling of the key components. Over 2,000 bulk units are carefully and methodically labelled and recorded. Each and every item is labelled and translated with clear instructions on how to be reassembled. In total, four bulk shipments, over 18,000 cubic metres of cargo and 280 shipping containers must be cleaned to export standard and sent half a hemisphere away to Shandong province in China, where it will all be reassembled. It's a massive engineering and logistical task. Pre-planning is essential. Once the dismantling phase of the project is complete, Liberty Industrial commences demolition of the major structures. Using their engineer-induced collapse methods, they demolish the larger structures, including the 1,700-ton, 75-metre-tall preheater structure which is as tall as a 25-storey building. Due to its proximity to adjoining operating industrial facilities, it must be demolished with the utmost precision. Liberty Industrial has modelled and simulated the demolition of the preheater structure using their proprietary ASI Extreme Loading Software. This state-of-the-art program simulates automatic crack initiation, separation and collision of materials more accurately than any other structural analysis technology to date. The application of this innovative technology allows Liberty Industrial to accurately pre-visualise each stage of the demolition process. This is a key factor in ensuring the structure is demolished in a safe and controlled manner.
Once the higher structures are at ground level, Liberty Industrial's fleet of excavators move in. The demolition of the plant and infrastructure is undertaken by Australia's largest demolition excavator, the 230-ton Liebherr 994. This monster machine is assisted by a 120-ton Hitachi, two 46-ton and 536-ton Volvo excavators, a 40-ton dump truck, water truck, service trucks, two semi-tippers, two telehandlers and various sized boom lifts. Liberty Industrial's highly skilled plant operators work together like clockwork to bring down the structures in the safest and most efficient manner. Various structures, including the off-gas hood and smelt reduction vessel, are collapsed using cut and pull demolition techniques. The resulting lower height of these structures allows the 230 and 120 ton excavators to pull them apart, working in combination with the fleet of smaller excavators equipped with shear attachments. Excavators with various attachments downsize and process the scrap materials to export size for shipment to be recycled in Asia. As part of Liberty Industrial's ongoing commitment to efficient waste management and environmental stewardship, a 50,000 tonne stockpile of slag waste from the high smelt process is crushed into 14 millimetre road basin stone and sold for reuse. This offers the client substantial cost savings due to the waste product being recycled instead of going to a landfill. In addition, Approximately 5,000 tonnes of large iron skulls and other waste products are processed so that they can be shipped to Vietnam for recycling. A 7,500 tonne stockpile of dolomite, which was used in the process and remained when the site ceased operation, has been blended and reused across the site as backfill material. Eighteen months later, and after 115,000 man-hours of work, this massive project comes to a close. Without a single lost time injury, Liberty Industrial can reflect on a job well done. A safe and successful outcome has once again been ensured by the state-of-the-art demolition technology employed and the specialist expertise and experience of Liberty Industrial.